in this video we will learn about uh, some performance issues uh, like when you have a um, big amount of uh, data then the power bi report becomes very very slow so in this video we will learn the underlying uh, issues so here you can see uh, in the power bi uh, data model so this is the data model that you have seen many times. So we have one sale table and product table, one to many relationship. And uh, then this uh, sale table is connected with customers. And uh, the customer table is connected with the territory, right? So we will work with these four tables. So let me show you one uh, measure that I have already created, like uh, total sales. So this is the total sale, right? The sales amount plus sales fright. So we will create uh, one more measure. Um, my measure and uh, then I will click new new measure here and uh, I need product price is equal to so here it is sum and uh, there is a column in the product table list price this one so hit enter okay so in the report we will draw one visual so this is the total sale and uh, now i need to put some countries here so there is a call there is a table here territory and i will click country so these are the different uh, countries and their total sale here so I need to uh, create one measure here sales version 1 so the sales amount so we will write um, for example switch and uh, selected value here we have to choose country territory country and uh, then we have to write here if the selected value is Australia then we have to write here for example sales amount are the total sales minus product price and uh, we have to multiply this whole thing with the formal point three, so I'm just uh, writing some random uh, expression. Like uh, if the country is Australia, then I am just uh, uh, subtracting total sale minus product price and multiply with point three. And in the same way, I am writing here if the selected country is Canada, then again the same total sales minus product price and multiply by 0.4 otherwise blank that's it so this is one of the measure here the sales version one so i will 
just drag and drop says version one yes this one so here you can see Australia and Canada right and uh, let me write one more measure control A and uh, then we have to click a new measure control V and here is the serial version 2 this one here what we have to do is um, here I'm using variables so here you can see the power of uh, variables regarding the performance because here I have very small um, records but in the real projects we have uh, millions of rows and where the performance really matter when you open your power bi report it takes a lot of time for the complete loading of the power bi report so what is happening whenever we write our dux formula uh, in the background it fires one query so here i have to write variable prod selection or the selected product selected product is equal to selected value country territory this one and then the second variable will be as a total sale is equal to total sale measure and then the third variable will be uh, product price is equal to product price this one so I have created three variables and uh, now we have to write here a return and uh, in this switch I have to use here the variable and the variable is selected because I, I had already used the selected value so I don't need to use here so here I have to write here only true the first parameter is the true and uh, then I have to write here if the selected product this is the name of the variable is equal to Australia then I need this expression total sale so instead of total sale I will write here the name, name of the variable that is total sale and uh, the product price so the same here I have to use variable product price as you can see the blue and uh, red color x y this is the variable so in the same way I will use here selected product is equal to Canada and the same way here total sale and uh, product price this one so that's all hit enter so let me drag it here so here you can see we are getting the same result minus 
31072.17 right for both the major sale one sale version one and sale version two let me delete total sales okay so what we have to do now um, let me put one visual here that is for example pie chart this one and uh, i need to delete the sale version to here so this is the sale version one right so i will copy paste control c control v and uh, here i will write uh, i will uh, put another so here i will change the visual to for example um, stack bar chart this one so and uh, for the sale version one instead of sale version one i will drag the sale version to this one under values right so here we have two visuals right so how we will trace out the performance issue because uh, as uh, uh, the data set is very very small and uh, we need to know that that uh, what we have achieved by doing all these things so you just need to click view and uh, here we have here you can see the performance analyzer so you have to click performance analyzer here and uh, then we need to click select start recording this one so here you can see you you are not able to see anything here because it performance analyzer only works whenever you do any uh, like uh, slicer selection or any uh, interactivity you per performed here so we have to click refresh visuals so here you can see if you expand sale version 1 you will see the duck query is taking 8 millisecond and uh, the duck query the sale version 2 the duck query is taking a uh, 7 millisecond all right so you have seen here that uh, for the sale version 2 the duck query is taking less time as compared to the uh, duck query from the sale version 1 so if i use the same visual here for example the pie chart this one and clear refresh visuals so here you can see we for the first um, let me zoom it so if i expand the first one it, it is taking 11 millisecond and uh, the sale 2 is taking uh, 8 millisecond so we have seen that if we use variables then the query is a bit faster as compared to the sale version 1 so whenever we perform any interactivity in the report using a slicer or we are just refreshing so then the ducks query generated the behind the scene and uh, it takes time to fetch the data from the database and after fetching the data the ducks query gives that data to the available visual in the report so then the visual um, takes uh, like for, for example in this uh, case it is taking 12 millisecond so it takes a bit time for the visual as well to show the values uh, depending on the data and it, and it also depends like uh, which visual you are using this is this can also be uh, this can also slow down your report for example if we are using um, map 
then for the pop-up the complete uh, data points in the map will take a bit more time as compared to the to the query so let's click here the sale version one so here you can see um, we are calling total sale two times here and the product price is also two times so assume if we have um, dust expression where we are uh, calling total sale 50 times and product price measure is also 50 times so each time it is fetching all the data and uh, then we are performing some complex calculation it it will take much more time and it will take uh, and it will hurt the the overall performance so instead of calling these thing each time each time when, whenever this uh, measure uh, execute it fetch the data from the database right so instead of fetching data every time from the database we have to use variables because variable runs only one time within the current filter context so and if we use uh, these variables total sale or the product price a hundred times it will not fetch the data from the database hundred times because it only fetch the data first time within the current filter context so that's why we, because the number of calls to the database is very less is only one time as compared to the uh, other measure so in this example you have seen that how we can maximize the performance by using uh, variables and uh, with the use of uh, proper visuals as well so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you